The following is being presented by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Samantha here and welcome back to my channel and another first look at the newest Sims 4 expansion pack, A Snowy Escape. And just want to remind you guys that I did receive this pack early access from EA a Game Changers. So thanks to EA Game Changers for giving me the opportunity to review this pack and show it off for you guys. So we are currently about to check out Build By Mode, but before we get in, I wanted to show you guys the map. We're in Mount Cormorebi. Hopefully I'm not butchering that. I swear they probably said it so many times and I'm probably butchering it, but you guys know how I do. Anyway, <laughs> here is the overview of the map. The neighborhood is, well, I guess the world is split up into three different sections. We have the first one, Wakaba, um, and it says it's young, new, and bright as the leaves of a tree in early springtime. So it's over here. And then over here we got Simbamachi. I'm probably butchering it, y'all. The town of a thousand leaves. Um, I can't read it because my name's over it right now, but basically um, <laughs> it has a lot of, uh, I guess, forest and uh, creatures and stuff that's over here. And then, of course, the getaway destination that is in this uh, pack is Yukamatsu, and it's up here amongst the snowy adventure over here. So we got, let's see, I'm just going to go in and count them out real quick. One, two, because everybody wants to know how many residential lots we got, right? Well, actually, you can make any of these a lot. So let's just count how many lots we have, periods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And from what I understand, once you reach the peak, it'll unlock an option to start building on the peak of the mountain. So I don't know that they're showing it now because it's probably somewhere up here. So quite a few uh, lots. And if you guys didn't know, these lots were actually created by fellow Sims for, well, Simmers, let's put it that way, uh, that are part of the EA Game Changers program. I don't remember which lots was built by who, but I'm sure they'll have videos up on their respective channels, kind of showing off what they um, what they build. And I wanna say too, the Sims on those lots were actually created by them as well. Uh, so we got a couple of, of residential lots. We also have uh, a bar here, a nightclub. Oh no, I'm sorry, a lounge here, a bar here. We got a park. And then this must be like a special event center. I'm thinking. So anyway, got quite a bit of stuff. So I'm just going to plop this family of three down here at 241 Wakabomori. Y'all know I'm butchering that. So we can go check out the bill by items. All right, guys, at first glance, I just kind of want to look around at the world because why not? And it is absolutely stunning. There's like a ton of mountains and stuff in the background and it's super green trees and it's very plush. Um, I'm not sure what's over here. Is this like a marshland of some sort? I don't even know y'all, but I love to go in tab mode when I'm looking at the world to kind of just like see, I guess let's go in tab mode and cut it on at the same time. So you got all these babbling brooks and stuff over here. They kind of wind around uh, over here to this little mountain rear area. Is this a waterfall over here? Now granted we're, okay, no it's not. <laughs> granted we'll never be able to walk to those places, but I still like to give an overview of the world just to kind of see how everything looks. I love this house. I wish I remembered who built this house, but this was from one of the Simmers that's in um, the EA Game Changers program. It's one from one of the one from one of you people. I mean, one of <laughs> one of the Simmers that you guys probably watch a lot of. That's what I was trying to say. <gasps> Look down here! Oh my goodness! Look how pretty the waterfalls and stuff. Oh my gosh! This is absolutely stunning. Hold on, y'all. This is stunning. The bridges and stuff. Oh my goodness. Is that a bird? What is that? Is it, did I did I pause it mid? I think I did. I think I paused it mid. Oh, it is. It's like a crow. Is, is that a crow? Hello, Mr. Crow. You know, I get so sidetracked. I apologize. <laughs> I really do get so sidetracked. Anyway, let's go over here real quick and check out. There's like a whole bunch of busy. Look how busy it is. All these little areas and stuff and there's like a little parking lot over here for like a little shopping area of course there's gas stations i feel like that's like the running joke right they always give us gas stations but there's no cars anyway and then here is the mascot of the world the one that we saw from the cast items where you could actually um dress up as him but you can come here and interact with him he shows up and everything too and this might actually be like a little shopping area over here but we'll have to check it out when we do uh the gameplay so we're over here with the family. These, this family has absolutely no origin. It's just the Sims I made in the cast. Uh, but this is her younger sister, but they have a different uh, different dad. So anyway, that's the only story I have for them. <laughs> but let's get into build by mode and go check out this stuff. 
So what I like to do is just go to filter all. We're gonna just go to the pack. Uh, of course, like I told you guys, this is a special build for just to show off the pack. So I don't have all the other packs in here. It's just Snowy Escape and then base game stuff. So let's go check it out. Let's start off with a uh, monster free bed. Hopefully you guys can get a good look at it. And oh my, oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you guys. So we did see on the live stream, they did talk about Void Critters. There's like a whole Void Critter, I want to say festival or like some type of event where you could go searching for Void Critters and stuff. Um, if I remember correctly, it was something to that nature. So that's cute that they added the Void Critters into here. And you could actually get a bed with your favorite Void Critter or you could get the town mascot, the world mascot um, or all the sports and stuff. So you got that one. And then we got a, a big bed, like a double bed. And I love the wood detail on the headboard here. And the sheet preferences is really nice as well. Then we got the snow drift chair. Um, comes in multiple swatches. It gets to the point where when you see some of them, you get... Oh, wait, hold on, y'all. I like the back of this. Y'all, they, they... I'm gonna be an with y'all. The last couple packs, the build by stuff has been on point. I like this too. It's the same chair, but there's like a detail with the little... Um, I guess that's like a fur throw. Now my question would be, can we, okay, I was like, man, if we could put these next to each other and just make like a whole seating area and then the throw could just be like, you know, on the edge of it. I don't know. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Make like a whole sectional type situation. Anyway, we got science and the Ottoman. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little Ottoman, but you could probably use it for the kid's room or maybe like a little playroom. But the funny thing is you can use these for the kids room, right? And then when you wanna get like an adult type one, you could just use like those. Um, and then we got Chair for Squares by GeoWares. That rhymes. Um, <laughs> we got these chairs right here. They're just like very basic chairs, but you know, for a basic sim, why not? Then we got the uh, Redefining Fine, a wait, Redefining Fine Dining. I knew it wasn't gonna come out my mouth right because I was trying to say it and I literally got hemmed up. Redefining fine dining chair. Whew. Say that five times fast. Like, I don't know, say that like two times fast at this point. Anyway, so that one comes with different color swatches and some solids. Uh, then we got the, you know what? I would not be surprised if the T is silent. So let's say Sagit Barstool. I might be butchering it, but hey, it sounded good when it came out my mouth. Anyway, <laughs> so it comes in all these wood colors. And then we have the heated discussion sofa. Heated discussions. That's interesting. Heated discussions. Okay. Uh, my alarm was just going off. All right. So I was thinking heated, like heated, like it was going to be heated. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. So wait a minute, y'all. This one right here. Oh my goodness. Look at the details love it okay i'm gonna go see the other ones really quickly because i went through them and i stopped at that one because that one caught my eye uh then we got the staring bench this one's nice too it's got like a wood and a stone look to it at the same time uh then we got the fresh beginnings love seat we're gonna have to rotate this one because i want to see what the back oh you know what i hate that when i'm like toggling through the swatches and then i turn it around to look at the back and then when i toggle through them again it like faces us because I can't show you guys what it looks like behind. But this is really nice. And the swatches match the swatches. I There. Yeah. So you can kind of have like a matching set. You might could even make. Ooh. We might have to play around with that. I'm already getting inspired. I was going to say we might have to make like a dining room table. Where it's like a bench on one side. And then um, I wonder if they'll let you do that. And then like these chairs on the other side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's leave that over there for now so we could just kind of like get an idea because that would be so cute. Oh, that'd be so cute. Anyway, okay, so Fresh Beginnings Love Seed. Is that this one? Yeah, I got, I got sidetracked just that quick, y'all. How often do I get sidetracked? Keep it real, keep it real. <laughs> anyway, Mountain Romance Kitchen Counter. Oh, we got new kitchen counters. All right, let's see. Oh, first of all, I like the fact that their shelves, are they slotted? If they're slotted, then y'all, we are winning, okay? Because can you imagine like the customization with these? And you could be able to like build like your own kitchen like situation and like put things inside. We're gonna leave them out to see if they're slotted because if they are, even if they're not, you could do move objects on. But oh my goodness, to not have to use move objects is like amazing. I prefer just to stick them in there because when you use move objects and you don't put move objects on when you place the lot, 
things are floating we all know this anyway <laughs> then we got the mountain romance kitchen island it goes with this of course it's an island probably all the same swatches so we don't have to go through those and then we have the table for squares by geo wares geo wares must be making a ton of money because i mean like they are on it today oh 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 there's different toppers oh ooh. wait y'all look at this oh <gasps> I love it oh my goodness y'all I'm so inspired right now I want to make like a whole not a snow like a snow lamp you know what I'm getting so many ideas I love when we get new packs and I'm just inspired like Ugh. I want to make like um like a hangout spot that's like a bar or maybe like a coffee shop that's strictly for like the the snowy sports people they come to hang out they come to like you know swap stories uh maybe they watch it on tv and they talk about it maybe they challenge each other at this bar and they're like i'll see you on the mountaintop and they're like i'll see you there go back and forth and then this would be the tables there that's the vibe i get that'll be the tables there i absolutely love it i love it and then if you have a get together Hello, if they have the activities from this pack that you could do with Get Together, you could have like a whole club that specializes in that. An after school club, club for kids who are into snowy sports. Like the possibilities so far in my brain. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> this is a uh, Kakatsu table. And if you know, I do know about this traditionally because me and Alyssa actually were trying to make one of these. But um, it has a, a heating function underneath the table. So when your Sims sit down at the cushions, they can kind of tuck their body underneath the table and they can uh, enjoy their meal with the heat. And I've seen traditionally, I think you could take this little heated blanket out off like during the spring and the summer, maybe when you don't need the heat and then they could just sit under it traditionally without the uh the blanket but really cool i'm gonna actually leave it out because i want to see what it looks like in action uh then we have the absolutely absolutely stabulous table okay is this a dining room table table that i've been a long time ago we're just gonna assume let's see real quick uh we might not can't assume this is pretty high it might be a dining room table um so we might play around with this just to see if i could put that that bench on the other side of it but anyway here are the colors for that let's pick a white i don't know why sometimes we're going through build by mode and stuff i'm just like i'm inspired i kind of want to see if this is like a thing we could do and then i do it um but maybe oh wait wow i was off by a little bit y'all because my ink oh no 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 go back you were good buddy you were you were perfect what is y'all i swear it feels like i haven't played the sims in forever but oh you could possibly let me see i wonder if they'd add, you know what y'all now we gotta try it now we gotta try it i'm just saying i'm just saying all right so let's go back to now i messed up my whole little order that's all right we're gonna show all go back to it all right so we got those we gotta try it and see if they can actually because that'd be so cool to do a feature like that would it not I think it would I don't know why but I do think it would all right so now my order's a little messed off but that's okay messed up but that's okay uh we got the Tosi Katatsu table seat six so my sims here are only uh three of them so I had to why well, I had to go double check I don't know but anyway so we'll just toggle through these you can see the swatches but they're pretty much the same except this one seat six then we have the world's fastest table now this looks like a yep it's a snowboard it's a snowboard they look like they made into a table Maybe this can be like a console table, um, you know, or something that they could put their mail on, hypothetically speaking, when they first come in the house or their keys or their purse. Um, but definitely for the adventurous sim who wants to show that in their house they're adventurous, right? Uh, this is the Lodge Love Story Coffee Table. Uh, okay. And then we got the Snow Dreams Nightstand. This matches the headboard from that double bed with the little uh, wooden slats like that. Uh, how low can you go? Coffee table. Uh, these look exactly like these y'all so it's just a smaller version of that so sometimes i feel like you don't have to go i forgot to place walls so we could check out the stuff for the walls so let me do that really quickly i'll normally do that when we first i feel so out of practice y'all so uh, for you that for you guys that follow me already and you've seen my videos before uh we just recently moved so this is like my first time playing the sims in a super long time i'm super excited to play because it's been forever but I feel like I'm so out of practice. Like I've been pressing the wrong buttons and everything, like trying to see, trying to see what the heck I'm doing. All right, so this is a desk. Yes, it is. All right, so live to work desk, it says. Same wood colors, so everything is kind of neutral. Uh, then we have this mountain lore shelf. 
uh, which looks really nice. We're gonna leave it up because we wanna see what type of slots it has. So let's just put it over here. Uh, then we have the Hinoki Cypress Shelf. Uh, it's another little wooden shelf. And the colors are really pretty. Let's put that up so we can see the slots on that. And then we have the Safety Deposit Box. Uh, okay, a deposit box. Petrified of the possible pilferage, wait, what? Petrified of the possible pilferage of your precious Paco? Desperate to defend your darling from depraved desperados? Uh, Y'all, <laughs> who comes up with the descriptions? What is this? I don't even know what this is, hold on. Now you can foil even the slipperiest tea transgressors, I can't talk today, with the safe tea deposit box. From the outside is beautiful teak tea cabinet, from inside is the tea klepto's worst nightmare? Huh? So is it like a tea? Oh my goodness, look at these swatches, the cherry blossoms. <gasps> Oh my goodness, the swat. I have no idea what this is. Let's leave it out to see if they can interact with it because I literally have no idea what this is. Absolutely none. All right, so next we got the Tea for Two Dozen shelf. So maybe teas are going to be like a big deal here, which in Japan traditionally, I know that they do a lot of teas because um, you know that they'll do like ceremonies and stuff like that. Um, so I wonder if it, this just says it's a display case, but we can see if it's interactable. I, I don't know if interactable is a word, but y'all know I use it a lot. But anyway, here is the new font that they introduced into this world that kind of matches the region, kind of gives the region like, so it's going to really feel like a getaway place, you know, because it's going to be like a whole nother world. Uh, the traditions here are going to probably be a little bit different. Of course, you're going to see the fonts going to be different, stuff like that. Um, so hold the nature picnic table which is really nice because there's like cushions on the seats. What wooden picnic tables do you guys ever see that has cushions on the seat? Not many, not many. All right, then we got the winter scene lodge table. Oh, and it's got the fur on it. The little fur throw thingy. That is so cute. Um, then we got the chilled out modern sink. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, I'm gonna say I thought I put a kitchen counter. <laughs> so we could put that on the counter really nice i forgot to go through the swatches where we placed it but these are it it looks like it's mostly just the metal okay there is some darker ones but the knobs look like they change colors for the first ones except that gets a little bit darker um but then you got that one then we got a new toilet the keister liquidator the keister liquidator oh oh it's got buttons on the side hold on y'all hold on hold on hold on uh, for the best caboose care anywhere, install the Keister Liquidator Bidet and wash your troubles away. <laughs> I love it. Wait a minute. So it uses a tin. It has a it, 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 what, bleh, has a bladder rating of 10, a comfort of 1, a reliability of 5. But look at the water consumption rating. A 3. A 3. Because that thing is rinsing your cares away, just like the description. Just like the description says, Are you? I want to see it in action. But we're gonna have to build a room in order to see that actually because they're not gonna do it they're not gonna use it outside uh then we got the steamy time shower uh let's go put it on the wall behind here uh ooh, there's a mirror attached to it so you could take a shower and watch yourself take a shower why would that be a thing i'm not sure i actually like too that there's like a faucet down here and then there's like the um the handheld up here so you could probably like wash your hair y'all I ain't gonna lie, this is a true story. This is so unrelated. But when I condition my hair, or I'm washing my hair and I wanna see if I got everything out. Sometimes I do bring a mirror in the bathroom with me so I can check and see. Cause sometimes you can't tell. And then I'll get out the shower and I'll be like, man, I missed this whole spot. Anyway, so maybe a mirror in the shower will come in handy. Maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, all right, so we got the, um, a t is this a tub? An of Komorebi Afuro? Inspired by the baths found all over Japan in houses, apartments, and Ryokan. Um, this marvelous tub differs from the Western bathtubs by being a deeper construction and by having square sides rather than being sloped. What? Oh. Oh, wow. Wait, when they start the water on this, will it just come off the top like that? Like a waterfall? Y'all, we might have to build a bathroom just so I can see the bidet and the tub at work. Hopefully there's like a pre-built bath and we could just use it. But that's really cool. Uh, then we got the hot spring bath. Oh, MG. 
Okay, okay, okay. The beauty and healing powers of the outdoors now comes in a convenient indoor version. Wait, indoor? We can make our own bathhouse? Wait, are you guys, are you serious? We can make our own bathhouse? Okay, 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 y'all. We're going to have to do this. Oh my good, I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to make a bathhouse. I'm going to have to look up online and see like what traditional bathhouses look like though. And I'm going to make one. I'm going to make a bathhouse, y'all. I'm so serious. That is so cool. All right. Um, then we have the rejuvenating hot spring. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. Okay, if I place it, oh, it already puts the water and stuff in there. Oh, that is stunning. Okay, let's go through the rest of the swatches. Oh, it's only three. It's only three swatches, but still. And then, can you get in here? You must can get in here. It's a hot spring. Oh my gosh, y'all. And with terrain tools, you can build your own like little hot spring type getaway. Think about it. You can have it where people have to go through like a cave and then the, 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 the reward is on the other side. There's like a big old rejuvenating hot spring. Hello, that is so cool. I really like that idea. I am so happy about this pack like y'all have no idea. All right, this is my little Marimo Aquarium. These cute little aquatic moss balls, AKA Marimos. Okay, I th I'm probably butchering that, but some moss balls, like a little aquarium for them. Can you do anything with it? Can you add like, only needs a bit of tender loving care and clean, cool water. Low maintenance, that is a low maintenance relationship, but it's a really nice piece of uh, like decorative items. Um, best friend forever space heater power consumption so it actually does work so we got like a little space heater here so I guess I'll put it out so we can see what they do with it do they warm their hands up with it or something like that all right so let's just put it over here and uh, then we got the Yeti scape mini skis for kids okay so they must can actually use these yeah we're gonna have to do a gameplay we're gonna have to do a gameplay video because I'm, I'm curious now I'm definitely curious. So let's, we have a kid, so let's just leave that out for them to play with. Wait, y'all, we got a lot. Okay, you know what? Let's not, because we'll be here all day long. Okay, so then we got the kitty boards here, the snowboards, and then we have one for the adults, it looks like. This is a little bit bigger. So yeah, my only question would be is when um, they actually use it, do they switch shoes automatically or do you have to have the shoes on them? I guess for realism, I, and it's probably as draggable into their inventory, I'm sure. But I bet you for realism, you would have them get dressed already. And then when they go out to the slopes, they already have everything on, I'm sure. Um, so here we go. We got a high spirits bar. So it's like a nice bar. Oh my good look, y'all. Oh my gosh. I have, oh, I can use this for my little, um, my little bar for my snowboarders and stuff. My little snowboarder hangout bar. What are we going to call it? I need like a name to call it. All right. And then we got a canvas cabin, which is like a tent. And I'm sure you could probably sleep and stuff in here. Probably maybe it's going to act like the tents from outdoor retreat, except you could um, you use it in the snow. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you could do. Oh, y'all. I just thought about something else. Sled dogs. Like I know you can't do sled dogs, but what if you're. Oh, I got so many ideas. I'm sorry. OK, let me let me stay focused. <laughs> I'm like, we're here with sledding and stuff. Like, can we actually have our dogs pull a sled? Wouldn't that be cool if they, of course they wouldn't because cats and dogs are separate packs. You would need cats and dogs in order to have your cat and dog, or I'm sorry, your dog um, pull your sled. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, but anyway, so I just got this. I don't know where I got it from. Okay, right here. Uh, the Luminous Libations, a festival food stall. It only comes in that swatch. Then we got the uh, mount, like another food stall. I, wonder, I don't know if there's new foods in here though, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know. There's a bunch of different food stalls and stuff. Are this all food stalls? Yep. Uh, ramen. Ooh, ramen. Mm. And then um, I think that's it's five different food stalls. So I wonder if there are different types of food in each stall. Uh, then we got the blossoms arrangement. I'm not Ikebana. Ikebana blossoms arrangement. Y'all, that is so pretty. All right, let's check the slots since we're over here because I can probably put these up here. Oh, nope, I can't put these up here. All right, I guess it's too big. I can put it in the middle of this though, if I wanted to. All right, and then we got the Komodama plant. Guess what you call that? Oh, that's really pretty. Let's look at it up close here. Oh, that's really pretty. It kind of looks, uh, actually it's really nice. It's an interesting type of plant. I really like it. So I really like this one. And then let's go on and put these on the slots and see what's the one. Oh, one. We got one, two, three four five but i bet you if you put one up you can only put 
two, but still. And then over here we got one, two, three, four, and then five. So not too bad. Five slots over there. Uh, I probably can't put anything down here because it's too tall, but still very nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, we got the uh, water lily patch. We probably need this for the pools. Let's just place this really quickly just uh, for the fun. <laughs> just for the fun of it. Oh, gosh. Put the space heater over here. All right, I just want to put the lilies in it so we can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, oh, I lost it. Uh, put it there, and then we put these. Oh, no, that doesn't go here? No, it doesn't go there? Y'all, oh, no, it doesn't go there. I thought it would go on top of there. You know what? Maybe it'll go with the bathhouse? I mean, the bath thingy? No, it doesn't go there either. Hmm. Okay. Well, I stand corrected. I don't know what these are. Add greenery to your pond. Okay, well, this is a hot spring, so maybe we have to actually build a pond, and then we can use that for the pond. Okay, all right. I don't, I don't know why I thought, because you know what? That doesn't, Samantha, that didn't make any sense, because hot springs don't have lilies in them. It's a hot spring. It'd probably burn the lilies, right? Yeah, I know, y'all. You're probably all in the tr in the chat, in the comment. I'm about to say chat. <laughs> You're probably already in the comments like, Samantha, you idiot. You idiot. Ooh. I like these. And remember, y'all, we could always size them down if you want to do, like, a nice little... Well, we can't put it nowhere. We have to put move objects on. But if you wanted to size it down and make it like a cute little small planner set, or, you know, you can have a regular size. Absolutely love. All right, then we got the wishing bonsai tree. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love, I don't think this is cherry blossoms, but it gives me the feel. Well, it's not, it's a bonsai tree, but it gives me the feel like it's cherry blossoms. So what if, I mean, like you could put this anywhere, right? Yeah, pretty much. I would put that on my table. Let's look at the color swatches real quick before I play around with this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It does a red one, a green one, a pink, and then a dark, oh, then a white. But what if, I love cherry blossoms so much, and this reminds me of cherry blossoms. I sized it, no, never mind, never mind. No, 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 never mind. <laughs> you know, it was, it was a good thought for like two seconds. All right, so then we have the party starty posters, all right. And looks like people are drinking some sake. Have you ever had sake before? Because I think it's sake, right? I think that's what it looks like. Who is this? Is that like a like iced tea? Like the wrapper? No, I'm just joking, y'all. But I'm thinking like tea, and I was trying to think of something cute like Mr. T. And then it's like tea. Like, yeah, come and get some Mr. T. I don't know. I'm just coming up with some. Oh, wait, then there's this guy. Well, you know what? I got an idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. <laughs> I know this says nothing to do with anything. This guy would be... Yeah, no, I don't know. I was going to say, this guy would be Mr. T, and then the other guy would be like the arch nemesis of Mr. T, and they both sell teas, but uh, yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know how to... <laughs> Wait, they're only $5? That's actually pretty... That's a steal! Anyway, um... Let's go through the swatches real quick. I don't know if these are supposed to be somebody. Uh, then you got this one, that this one, if you want to make a restaurant. Oh, we're gonna make like, okay. I'm gonna shut up, cause I'm gonna tell you all these things I'm gonna make, and then if I don't make them, you're gonna be like, where's the da da da? I ran out of time. <laughs> all right, so then we got the I did the thing post. Oh, whoa, let's put this over here. All right, I did the thing poster. It is super big, but you can always size it down. But these are really pretty. Then we got some, oh, ho, ho, look at that cutie. Y'all, a little toddler room based off of this little creature. Adorable. Anyway, you got these decals you can put on the wall. And then you got all the big posters and stuff too. I would totally use this in my little bar thingy that I'm thinking about making, which uh, if I if I don't get any sleep tonight, I probably will be able to do. Anyway, so then we got, <laughs> we got these real quick over here. And these are like so cute. <gasps> y'all, I am in love so far, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. We had a whole conversation. Who was I talking to? We were talking about um, our favorite packs. Y'all, this might end up being one of my favorite packs. And I haven't even started playing it yet. And we still have to get through the rest of the Bill Buy stuff. But look how beautiful the stuff is so far. This might be one of my favorite packs. If not, San Mishuno is probably, City Living is probably my favorite favorite. But more so because of the, the world. I love like the city dynamic. But this one, oh, y'all, if the gameplay is anywhere near, I mean, it could be like an eighth of the pleasure that I'm getting just going through this stuff. It, it's going to be a winner for me. What are these? Blinds? 
And the plot thickens bamboo blinds. I like that too. I like that. All right, then we got the mini Narin court curtain. Oh my goodness, there's like dumplings and tea. I think that's a dumpling. Yeah, no, I don't know. But but either way, I love it. You could make like a whole little restaurant and put this on the outside. One of those open restaurants where like the windows and everything are like completely missing. And then you put this over it. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know the traditional, you know, I'm gonna shut up because I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of Japanese inspired builds. I'm gonna have to research and see how they normally look and just use one as inspiration. I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, then we got this little awning. It's got that arched roof. Let's do some different colors here. And then we got another awning. All right. And then we got the carp streamers. Oh, 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 these are so cool. Wait, I want to see the colors. Okay, all right. I, I guess I can't see the colors. Look, is that the closest we can get right there? Okay, every time I turn it, it changes the thingies. All right, y'all. Y'all can see them though. Very cool. And then we have the it's all downhill from here. I wonder if you can make your own little sleet slopes and stuff for the sim. Probably not. That's probably asking for way too much. <laughs> and then we got the generally enthusiastic canvas signs. Uh-huh. That guy, that little creature is so cute. I forget his name, y'all, but these are adorable. I would totally get like merch with his little face on it. And I wouldn't even think twice about it. I'd be like, yeah, you can give me a shirt. You can give me a Funko Pop. Yeah, give me a decal. Give me an ca iPhone case. Yeah, I'll take a knit cap. Uh, then we got, so this here is a mountain shrine. So we toggle through these real quick. There's some that have been a little bit weathered, like maybe with algae or um, just rain or whatever. And I think they can actually interact with this, but I'm not sure. So maybe we'll leave it out. I'm trying to not take up too much space. They don't need a mailbox because they ain't gonna be here for real, for real. All right. And then we have the start and finish line marker. So maybe we can make our own little sleds. I mean, our own little slopes. A race has no point when there's no start or end. Huh maybe i don't know we'll have to check on that another time uh then we got a peak of spring water feature oh my goodness y'all so pretty so pretty we got to see that in action when it's time all right uh where we at right here okay so then we got a what is this a snoop proof bamboo blinds i think this hangs yeah this hangs from the ceiling and we don't have a ceiling so i'm gonna have to just eyeball let me make it a little bit brighter out here all right the eyeball the swatches here uh just traditional oh wait there's some patterns I'm about to say traditional wood but there's some patterns there um and then we got wait where are we y'all missed this whole awning right here a bamboo homage awning i missed that whole awning right there i saw the star and i just was like oh there we go <laughs> there that is paranormal plates hey those plates aren't going to stack themselves you know wait that looks like symmetrical plate stacking what but why oh we got wait wait one two one three four five six seven eight. whoa okay let's just say three a row and there's like so maybe 12 one two three four and there's some in the middle too They gave us slots down here, y'all. One, two, three. One, two, three. Y'all, oh my, slots for days. What the heck? And then you got two rows of slots. Wow. I was saying that if they gave us slots, y'all, that was going to be a win. Irreconcilable differences tea cans? Wait, I didn't even go through the swatches for this. All right, so these are the swatches for this. And then you can do the little tea cans. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness, look. Y'all, I am hype. Like, are you serious? Something as simple as that? What is this? A bucket and footstool? Okay, uh, it must be a decorative piece. I don't know, but I'm I'm this right here though. Anyway, okay, profiles and art. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't expect it to be that big. It's like a, is that a crane? Like a like it reminds me of the origami. Like you could do. 
and uh, that's really pretty. That'd be a really pretty decorative piece if you wanted to put it like in the middle of something. Uh, then we got the a jumbo parasol. Parasol? Is it parasail or is parasol? Oh my gosh! And this is very Asian inspired or Japanese inspired. Because uh, you know when you say Asian sometimes it just seems like it blocks it all together like puts that whole like genre together And a lot of them don't have the same type of inspirations if you get what I'm saying So I don't ever know how to say that properly without being offensive So we know for sure that this pack is supposed to be inspired by the Japanese culture So we're just gonna assume that's more so that uh, than any other ones But or maybe than just saying Asian inspired, you know anyway, so then we got the um, pride banners all right, and then we got a doll here. I wonder if they can interact with these. Wait, can you move my name? Can you move, can you move my name? Thank you. Okay, environment. Okay, it's just environment, but you can put him down here too. Oh my goodness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <gasps> y'all. Oh, sold. Thank you. I don't even know what I'm doing with him down there, but he's going there. Uh, then we got the uh, mas mascot statue. Yamachan. 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 There we go. Okay. Uh, this is him and he comes in different colors. Oh my goodness. He's adorable. Y'all, he is so cute. Have y'all seen that movie? It's like a short that comes on before the movies and it's this lady that was making dumplings and then she had a vision that the dumpling turned into, into a, a, a little kid and she was caring for him and feeding him and the kid just kept growing up and up and up. And then as he got older, he started getting a little bit more, um, you know, like teenagery. It's like clothes. He was like drinking Cokes and he got like a little mustache. He slammed the door in her face. And then he met this girl and was like, I'm leaving. And she slammed the door and she was crying. Um, no, no, no. I'm sorry. She actually picked him up and tried to eat him. <laughs> Have y'all seen that? This reminds me of that little guy. I don't know what the name of the little short is, but that's what it reminds me of. Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, the moment of Zen Garden Rock. Just a little car. Wait, is this like a decal and not a? It looks more like a decal and not like a. a it looks more like a sticker uh, than an actual rock. And then we have the Fresh Beginnings Faux Fur Rug. Nice. And you know what? I like the fact that they gave it to a small, so then we could just size it however we want it. Because you might want a big one, or you might want a small one. Um, okay. And then we got the a whole lot of fireplace. I'm sure this goes along the walls. So let's. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Maybe we'll, we will make like a little snowy lodge or something like that. Oh, y'all, a snowy lodge. Like a snow lodge, not a snowy lodge. A uh, toasty host. Oh, this one's actually freestanding. Okay, that's really pretty too. You know what? I wonder if, because this almost looks like you could put this on the table to be like a center, not a centerpiece, but you know how you'll go camping or whatever and there's like a, a lantern on the table is lit. You could probably do something like that and put it on a table, but I don't I don't know if your sims will try to interact with it and, and then put it on fire. And then yeah, that might be a disaster. But anyway, um guiding signs. So here we go with these. And here is that special font that I was talking about. Very nice. Uh and then let's see what else we got. Y'all, oh my, it's still going. Okay, oh, we're almost there. <laughs> I'm like, it's and we still gotta go look at the construction stuff. Uh then we got the modesty of matters privacy divider. Can you like stack these? Hold on. Can you? Oh, okay. Man, if you could have like put those side by side. Oh. But anyway, all right. So we could do those. Um, I do know that this pack came with a new career too, but I forgot what it's called. Uh, but we could take a look at it when we do gameplay. Uh, so we got this one and then we got, ooh, what is this? Hold on. A rain chain? Hmm. Down spouts got you down? Try a rain chain. The simple yet effective rain chain turns every rain droplets journey to the ground into a gorgeous water feature for your home. Wait, so we could put this outside? I wonder if the rain will really like interact, like, like it'll really make a difference. Hmm, okay. Um, Hermit Heaven's Shutterbox. Alrighty. Yeah, we gotta go through these because I, I feel like I'm gonna be here for a minute. Uh, then we got uh, a Splunk Soap Products nice like it uh then we got the greeting window bars Ooh, put those outside of a window uh the alpinus gear uh-huh it has like the um all the stuff y'all the shoes and the gloves the scarf i'm not sure what this in the middle is like, like a canteen or something like that um all right and then we got the uh, taming of the shoe 
Oh, that's right. So now there's a new lot trait. <laughs> Just remember that, which of course you guys will see in gameplay where um, you can make it where uh, the Sims can't come in with their shoes. They'll actually change their shoes. And it probably is, is it here? I'm not, oh, it's not. I don't maybe it's not well I don't even see anything here but it's 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 a trick like I don't know if you have to put the sign up in it initially defaults to remove shoes indoors okay so you put this up and then they'll just automatically remove the shoes when they come inside um and I think I remember them saying that they could put on slippers or just be barefoot or like I don't know we'll have to play around with that and see because I can't remember that um then we have the uh steezy skis gear hanging rack steezy skis Steezy skis. That sounds so funny. Uh, and that's that. And then the today's special sign. Use that for your restaurant builds. Uh, then the Norin curtains long. Oh my goodness, with that little cute kitty, that little cat. That's so cute. All right. Then the matcha better, matcha better, matcha, not matcha, y'all. Ah, oh, it's like a little tea shelf thingy with teas and stuff. Uh, then we got a divider here. Y'all, the stuff in this pack, if you love just the Japanese cult or just anything that's inspired, um, like this type of stuff, y'all, oh my gosh. And the fact that they actually gave us this and then they gave us a whole nother world with different activities and it's snow and stuff. Because even if you don't have seasons, it'll still snow. You'll still have snow up there on the mountains. Um, I think you won't have like, of course, the other, you won't have like the other, uh, like rain and all that type of stuff like we normally get. But um, y'all, this is so cool. Is this like a bookshelf? Oh, it's a bar back. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. And then the ooh activity table. <laughs> it's literally ooh, ooh activity table. All right. And this has like a little origami stuff on there too. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Hold on, I'll probably say this little origami stuff right here. That's really cute. All right. And then almost there y'all we're almost there uh okay and then the beakers bobbles a science set so we got a new science set and a new activity set for the kids uh the cube lighting forever shadow box so pretty y'all i love these um lantern and a paper so oh i didn't even think about the fact that this might have slots y'all I didn't even think about the fact, but anyway, it's a paper lantern. Very pretty. I bet you at nighttime. Let's see. We can see right now. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice little ambiance. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's so pretty. Uh, all right. And then we got the stone lantern. It's a big, bigger Then the lantern rock or rock lantern. It said, uh, then we got this little hanging uh, cube lighting forever trio. It looks just like the lantern, so that's really cool. Except you hang them on the ceiling. Then we got this lantern, which hello, oh my gosh, y'all! I cannot wait. It's crazy though, because I would like literally download CC and download like CC filled lots for stuff like this. Because I did a whole Japanese inspired world for one of my LPs, and I literally was like combing google uh tumblr um sims resource just wherever wherever i could find uh cc at i was like literally combing to find stuff and i ended up getting a whole world like literally my entire save file has japanese inspired builds it's crazy i actually did a video too about japanese inspired builds that i found on the gallery some people did some amazing things um but anyway so uh it's just crazy now that like hello i could just like really go and revamp that whole world and like put this stuff down like for real, I cannot wait. Cause I do have an, and I know this is totally unrelated, but I do have an episode of when I want the Ashley and um, Braylon to go visit her to in Japan. Cause they're elders and they haven't really traveled that much because they've been spending their entire time taking care of their kids and running businesses and stuff like that. They really never had a chance to like do anything themselves. So I want them to go visit her. Maybe do like some traditional festivals and stuff like that. I think this would be amazing to have them come and do something like this. Um, this looks just like, Oh, it's smaller. Okay, okay. I'm like, that looks just like that. I was like, am I missing something? All right, we got a new refrigerator. Ooh, which is wooden. That's very unusual. I've never seen a wooden refrigerator before. We got a new stove, which looks very stone and wooden inspired. It's like stone and wooden. 
little metal accents. Uh, then a hot pot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think, yep, we could put this on here. We might get see them do a hot pot. Uh, it's like a way that they uh, make a meal, but I'm not sure like what you need for it. Let's just place one on top so we can have them interact with that. Uh, then we got a snail box mailbox, and this probably goes on a wall. So we can check those out real quick. Oh, ho, ho. wait a minute, Joe. He's like, give me the mail. I'm going to eat it. That is so cute. Give me the mail. I'm going to eat it. That came out horrible. That sounded like somebody's nightmares. I'm sorry. Anyway, waste, what this says? Waste Smart Deluxe Trash Can. I love, y'all, we're still, oh, we're almost there. We're still going though. Trash Talking Recycle Bin. Love it, love it, love it. And it says a recycle bin. All right. And then we got some vending machines, a semis vending machine. Oh, and I think this one you can catch. Yeah, this is the one that you can get the little toys, like little capsule toys. Um, and I know that's like a big thing over there. It's like you can like go to these little machines and get capsule toys. It's so funny because I remember looking at some that I wanted to collect. People were selling them on eBay and it was like crazy amounts of money for them. I was just like, for these little capsule toys, that probably cost them like a dollar when they went in there. Um, but I think it just comes in the one swatch, but I think you could put them, oh, I thought they snapped. Um, I thought they would snap side by side because I remember when they showed them to us. They have some out in the world that you're supposed to interact with. Um, I thought I remember them being like right next to each other. Maybe not. All right. Uh, so yeah, that one, which does like capsule toys and then um, the freezy treats, so frozen stuff and then hot eats and then uh, bits and bobbles. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. All right. Then we got the asymmetric balance bookshelf. Uh, love it absolutely it probably has like a ton of slots we're not going to even test it like they they have done us good with slots okay and if you guys are a builder or a decorator y'all know how important absolutely important <laughs> slots are anyway then we got this shelf here that matches that um, bed with the wooden slats what are they calling it above average height dresser and the onsen locker which these are big deal over there too if you see a lot of just yeah i watch a lot of anime and you know a lot of this stuff is like an anime so i'm like just noticing it just from you know anime and stuff like that uh destination privy okay this is a bathroom for outside so if you if you could build your own slopes and like do terrain and stuff and then put the start and finish line put stuff like that i wonder if you could do that i don't i don't know they didn't talk about that in um Okay, and then there's some locked items. Maybe once you get your skills up, you'll get those. And then the most loyal employee award. That is for a salary person. That is the new uh, job that comes with the pack. Um, and then this is for a supervisor role. And then this is for the expert branch. Wow. All right, cool. So we went through all of the uh, decorative stuff, which is really cool. I can get rid of some stuff because we're going to probably need... Oh, we don't need too much money. We're doing good. Um, but I do want to see this in action. I want to see if they can sit there. I want to see this and I want to see this. And I don't know if they'll interact with that, but we'll just see anyway. That might just be for decorative stuff. So that's all the buy stuff. Let's go to the build stuff and go check it out. And this is where I always get, I might just uh, really quickly, let's place a room. There we go. And then we're just going to put this up like, wait, child, I forgot. <laughs> like so. And let me just go on and get a roof. We're just going to get like a little tradition, just like a regular schmegler roof. Nothing, nothing major. And I'm going to try to make it where it makes sense all right cool so we can see those roof thingies and stuff so let me go on and filter that again to snowy escape all right uh actually you know what because i don't like when they're like can we bring you can we hello hello there we go i'm <laughs> like hello hello all right cool all right uh we got this one here okay has like little ridges and stuff on it i guess that's to catch the snow or keep the snow from piling up there and then we got keep it wavy <laughs> keep it wavy that's really nice and then this one summit shingle some shingles all right um so that's that uh we got a couple of little things to put on the roof this is a elemental bling roof sculpture that looks really good and it like really fits y'all hear the music in the background hopefully y'all can hear it pretty good uh anyway okay and then we got the shout it from the rooftop sign <laughs> can you turn it this way can you oh yeah you can you can put it on the roof like this so you could make like a little like a little um like somebody maybe like a little restaurant and the people come and get their food from here and then they'll go sit down somewhere maybe because that's the vibe i'm getting with this 
Um, I didn't even see what the different swatches were because I'm so busy getting inspired. Oh yeah, look, a tea. Mountain stuff, yeah. Mountain, probably on the mountain tea thingy, majiga. <laughs> I don't know. All right, uh, we didn't get any, uh, what's these called? The roof thingies, did we get any of this? Nothing there, all right. Uh, did we get new doors? We got multiple new doors. I probably should make this a little bigger just in case. Wait, did we, did that get extra, extra tall? Let's just put it middle just for the sake of it not looking super weird. All right, so we got the mountain. You know what, let's do all the doors. There we go. So we got this one with the sliding door. Oh my gosh. Y'all, oh my, and this is too big, but look, look, look at this. Look at it, look, look. Y'all look, look, like OMG, look. All right, did we look at this one? Okay, I'm like, look, look, and I'm forgetting which ones we looked at. Oh my gosh, y'all, that is crazy. Oh, they got the one that's like the paper one. Oh! <gasps> wow. Okay, then this long one here. Man, are you serious right now? And then this one's open because there are some that are just like open. Oh my gosh. Hopefully you guys can see it because I'm like going so fast and I don't have the wall long enough for it. Okay, let's go look at the windows. Y'all, look at the windows. This pack is jammed with stuff. What in the world? Y'all, how many things did we get with this pack? And then I'm loving the fact that all the colors are the same and it's the same type of wind. It's like the same width of like the windows can all be mixed and matched. That's one thing sometimes I get so frustrated on when I'm building is that I want my door to match my window to match. An, like what if I wanted one window like this that I want to come in and do a window like this and everything matches. You get what I'm saying? Like I, I, I it's just it's a beautiful thing. Um. I mean, we're talking about all sizes. We're talking about multiple uh, squares. We're talking about a panel at the bottom. We're talking about wider squares. We're talking about shorter, smaller. We're talking about, is this open or is this like half and half? And like, come on. Are you serious? Y'all, wow. I am, and I'm gonna be honest with you. When we watched the gameplay video, not the gameplay, the gameplay live stream, I was impressed with the gameplay. But they didn't show us the bill buy stuff. They did not. And I mean, besides what we could see just like, you know, walking around um, the area or whatever. So I am just completely shocked. Uh, reinforced retreat cedar bars. I wonder if you could put a window and then put the cedar bars. Oh! <gasps> you could make your own window. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all saw that. Let me, let me see if you, and then, oh my goodness. And I could look through said window. I could look through said window and see the bars. Shocked and appalled. Do when you hear me, do you hear me when I say shocked and appalled? This is adorable. Are you serious? This is stinking adorable. What other ones? It's all the same cats, just different colors. Oh, it's a mountainscape. It's the cats. It's a mountainscape. It's the cats. It's the cats. Are they in the tub? Are they in a, in the, are they in a tub? Hold on. Are they? Oh, they are taking a bath. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. Oh my goodness, y'all. And then this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I got way too excited. Scroll too far out. <laughs> and this one comes in different colors too. Oh my gosh, y'all. It is this one. I am going to, oh my goodness. All right, and then there's this one. Y'all, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? What? Look at the shadowing detail. It looks like it's actual, oh. Does it not look like if I rub my hand up against this, it's bumpy? Does it not look like that? Oh my goodness. Then it's a combination one. Y'all, they did not do us wrong. Are you serious? I am tempted to say this has made up for a lot of just, why EA? This has made up for a lot of it. I am so serious. This has made up for a lot of that. 
I don't, I don't get it. I'm looking at how long I've been recording for. It's been a minute. So let me try to hurry up and get through the rest of this stuff, y'all. Um, we got this here, uh, which we just placed that there just so we can see what it looks like. Very pretty. Uh, there's different swatches. Can I change them while they're on here? I cannot. Okay. So let's just get rid of it. Oh, I know you could do that. Okay. Let's just undo so I can have my wall back. All right. And it comes in a ton of different. Oh, whoa. Okay. I'm just going to, yeah, just look down here in that corner. You see, you see a bunch of different ones. Whew. Got a post. <laughs> like I said, you got a post. <laughs> it's like, really just post? No, it's a post. It's a post. I wonder if you could like put these and then add like this. Yeah, you could. So you could just frame a whole wall off. Y'all, I have no idea what to say. Um, absolutely none. All right, so this is flooring. Uh, I'm just gonna place it down here on the floor. I think this is like that tatami flooring. I don't know how, to, tatami? I don't know if it's tatami or tatami. Um, we were playing Animal Crossing. I haven't touched Animal Crossing in so long, but you can get one of those rugs in Animal Crossing. I never remembered how to pronounce it either on there. There's different colors too, so that's really nice. Uh, then we got the meditative sand circles. It's really nice. And then we got the straight line ones. Ooh, so you can like mix and match if you wanted to have like, some circles somewhere and then some not make your own little decorative carpet love it all right and so the three new floorings uh we got some new fencing we got uh the bamboo forest fence i'm gonna actually draw it out here it's really nice it's nice and high and then we have this one the low snow drift fence oh oh y'all these look so good all right and then they come with all these swatches Okay, hold on, let me get out of that and then see the swatches here. Just all, oh, look at this dark one. Wow. That looks really good, y'all. Really good. Um, okay, we did the wall. I did all. We did the floor. No, I'm sorry, we did the floor. Did we get any new? We did get some new, okay, stilt. Some stilts. Different colors for these as well. I like that as well. Um, I'm just making sure we got all of these type things. All right, so let's go check out the stairs. Uh, here we go with the stairs. And of course we can go through the swatch. Oh, we can't do the swatches. All right, I thought we can go the swatches like that. I, I told you I've been so lost since I played. <gasps> What's, oh, I could just do, ooh. It's like natural wood color. Oh y'all, I like that. And then uh, we got ladders. We didn't get no ladders, but y'all know we had ladders in the game. And then, of course, we got... I, why didn't I leave the stairs there, Samantha? That was so smart of you. That was absolutely so smart of you. And then you could put these on there. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely amazing. All right, y'all. I like this pack so far. Like, I don't even know what to say right now. I forgot to check this out. Like a gate. It's just the one color. Well, it's just the one that came with it. So if you had the tall gate... You can't, it'd be weird to use. I, I wish they would have gave us a gate for that tall gate too, but they only gave, I mean for the tall fence, but they only gave us the small one, which that's fine. Uh, so railings, we did all of that. All right, I think, I think we're good. All right, let's see, did we, we did get some new trees. It's gonna say all, okay, so we got new rocks. Oh, like the little sand stuff. Mossy ones and some without sand. And then we got this one, some with sand, probably some without, nice. Then the tall one. These are like garden rocks. I know this from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Look how pretty this tree is. Oh my gosh. And then a Japanese maple tree that either comes in red or green. This one only comes in the one color. Wow. Wow. That's all? Okay, so make sure. Okay, did we get any new? Okay, so we did get this, but we saw this already for the pond. And I bet you, let's double check. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Um, let's take a look at the little styled rooms really quickly. Um, I just want to see all of them. All right, cool. Uh, I can actually get rid of these at this point because we don't really need them. Oh, I just realized the sink disappeared when I put that stuff underneath there. So maybe you, maybe if you put a sink there, you can't put, I, I, don't, I don't remember deleting the sink. So I bet you that's what happened when I put that stuff underneath there. That, that might have happened. I don't remember. But anyway, um, so we got the peak kitchen. Let's just buy it so we can check it out so I can see how they did it. So they got the sliding door here and then, oh, it's a really nice comfy kitchen though. Uh, really nice. They got the hot pot on the table. 
got the counters. Oh, look how they did this shelf. And then the shelf here, and they put stuff on top of it. And they put stuff down here too. This looks really good. I love it. All right, let's get, let's see what the different colors they got. Uh, the blue, a brown, and a white. Then we got the private hot spring. We're probably not gonna be able to see this because I don't have anywhere. Actually, maybe I do, hold on. Hello, hello. And then the roof. All right. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I won't have, maybe I will, maybe I won't. All right, so we got the private hot spring. Oh, that's where the cats go? Oh, oh, okay. So you got this one with the mountainscape, this one with the cute cats, and then this one is kind of a bachelory. I'm gonna do the cute cats one because why not? I wanna see it in action. All right, so of course you got the um, the sliding doors here. Uh, what, what's, what's the issue? I'll go down. <laughs> I'm like, what's the issue? Oh my goodness. We might have to see them and see if they do anything with this, y'all. Oh, there's a shower right here. So they can rinse off and everything. Look, no shoes. This is so cute. Okay, let's let's keep this down. Do we have enough money? Yeah, we do. All right, we'll keep this down so we could uh, look at it in action because I want to see it. Real quick though, let me move it because I want to um, put it uh, a little further back so it won't interact with the, uh, the chair here. All right. I think that's better. All right, then the next room we got is the sweet Komarebi a room. Komar I'm okay, this is like a kid's room. I probably will not be able to see this one either. Let's see real quick. We can just get rid of that and then move this. I just wanna see that in action. All right, so let's go get this. I'm gonna see what it looks like. Aww, of course, that is so cute. That is adorable. All right, let's go look at the different colors in the room. Y'all, that is adorable. Okay. And then we got the Katatsu sitting room. Look how cool that looks. I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I interfere? Okay, just it's just built up against it. That is so cool. Y'all, this looks really good. All right, then we got the expert Zen room. We can't get it, but I can show you guys. What it looks like it says it unlocks when you reach level 10 of the salary person career and then the middle of the things room it's like a big old office very very nice um so i think that's it for the build buy stuff hopefully i am correct i kind of want to see oh the hot pot disappeared okay uh they can nap here too so let's sit, just have them sit and chat here and then see what that looks like i want to see Y'all look at it over there, the steam and everything. Go sit over. Because when he sits, he's going to actually and tuck his body underneath there. Yeah, we're going to have to do a gameplay video. We're going to have to do a gameplay video, y'all. Is this on? Turn on auto thermostat. You can put it in your inventory? Look how cool. Oh, wait, she got up. Oh, oh, she got up. Oh, you can't get to. Okay, so the table. Okay, so you can't do this. She said no. She said she can't do it, y'all. She said she can't. <laughs> can you interact with these? Nope. Okay. And this looks like this. Can you interact with this? You can view it. All right, so you can just view this right now. Um, why is Nancy Landgrab way over here? Girlfriend, seriously. Oh, look how pretty this area is. Yep, just disappear. Oh, you're stretching. Okay, I thought you were about to disappear. Y'all, look at the bamboo and stuff. That's crazy though, because we didn't get like the bamboo, like, oh, where'd it go? Like we didn't get the bamboo in the, um, the build by mode so it must be like an unlocked or uh hidden thingies hidden hidden objects maybe all right let's go see relax it's customary for sims to rinse off oh <gasps> it's customary for sims to rinse or bathe themselves before entering the hot springs all right i'll try with one you know what it's just her i'll try with her so we're gonna go how do you do it then take a shower and then get in it Okay, we'll try it real quick. It says rinse or bathe. And then she should take her shoes off when she comes in because we have the no shoe sign. Oh, <laughs> okay. It just like appeared off. All right, so she's going to rinse herself off really quickly. Y'all, this is a door. Oh, look. Okay, all right. Let's see if we can. I want to see if we can put her in here. Y'all, this is adorable relax in the hot spring so you do have to rinse your body before you get in there but she got well i guess she had to get dressed because i was about to say she got dressed for nothing it don't matter oh uh -huh, she puts her little swimsuit on i don't care nothing about no welcome to the neighborhood folks y'all just gonna be mad at me this is adorable 
Oh my goodness. Look at her. Well, it's like the jacuzzi. Yeah, she chilling up in here, y'all. Yeah, I'd be laughing too. That that looks absolutely delightful. Um, <laughs> but like I said, I won't waste too much time. Let's go do a respectful introduction. Y'all go introduce yourselves to this man before he's because we're probably gonna play with these Sims when we do our little. Oh, she's bored. Why? <gasps> Bad joke. Okay, so we are gonna do a um a gameplay video. I think I will because at first I wasn't gonna worry about it, but uh, I think let's see. Okay, that's the items. Is it here? Lifestyles. There we go lifestyles so we'll talk about all of these um i don't know when we can get them i think we have to play with them for a little bit and then they'll end up just unlocking certain ones if i'm not mistaken um but we'll have to check it out and see but y'all so far cast was amazing a bill by was equally amazing i am very impressed uh with this pack so far i um just based off of this and what i know for the gameplay I think you guys will not be disappointed. Um, so definitely, definitely one of my top fave, if not my fave at this point. But of course, we do have to play it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment and uh, thumbs up the video. I'd appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe because, you know, that'll help me out a lot. It'll make me feel super duper special. I don't know why, but it will. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. I'm going to try to do some builds and stuff too. Pop up in the gallery. So be looking forward to those as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.